Hey guys, <laughs> I guess you figured that you wouldn't see me again. Well, I hate to say this, I saw what J uh, Jake Christ said on, on the Facebook thing with Jig. I said, he said, I got your money, Jock Samson. I got your $300. Will you come and fight me? Well, that's all you had to do in the first place. So on October 3rd, Jake Christ, I will come to the Rockstar Arena. I will show up. I'll have my hand out. I want my money. And finally, in a year in the making, me and you will fight. October 3rd, Jake Christ, Jock Samson. Jake, I am going to beat your ass, and I can't wait. See you there, bastards. Wait a minute here. JT Davidson interrupting JP here for the introductions. Last week, JD came out and introduced Alex Cologne. And then Alex Cologne definitely did a number on Beef Hammer in what was supposed to be a one on one contest. But uh, Cologne didn't even re remove the belt that he stole from Nate Wings. And Rockstar Nation is telling him exactly how they feel about it. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what it looks like to be a real wrestler. You know what it looks like to be a true athlete. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce to you right now, the maniac with the red towel, the master of disaster, the Puerto Rican Punisher, the best of the best, Alex Cologne. Well, that was quite an introduction right there. And speaking of introductions, I'm being joined this week. You heard that voice earlier by Jared Rowe making his Rockstar Pro debut. Welcome aboard, Jared. Mark, very, very excited to be here. I don't know what took me so long to become part of Rockstar Nation, but I'm happy to be here. You know, they call you the voice of Rockstar Pro Wrestling. I'm happy to be called the noise of Rockstar Pro Wrestling. Oh, I like the sound of that. We're going to have a great time. It's going to be a great show. We've got a great card for all the fans. Well, here is Alex Colon. Please welcome the real American Lucha Corps champions, best of the best, Alex Cologne. Well, we all know that's technically not true. Maybe the best of the best and the true Lucha Corps champion in his own mind, but we all know that Nate Wings is the champion. championship under Lucha Corps rules. Oh, wait a minute here, and now JT Davidson is, is telling JP to say Alex Cologne is putting the title on the line when he doesn't even have the title. Well, you know, he may put the belt on the line. The belt doesn't make the champion. The championship, the belt itself is just the trophy. You know, we all know that Nate Wings is the champion. the toughest man in all of Rockstar Pro, and that is the Pitbull Ganger. I've never seen a 225 pound Pitbull. I can mark that off my bucket list. Well, at our last eye pay-per-view, Saved by the Bell, the Rockstar ears, this man right here, Ganger, he delivered a cradle DDT off a platform onto steel chairs to the man simply known as Michael, and we haven't seen Michael since. If I were Michael, I wouldn't show up either. A, a, a cradle DDT off of that platform, that's enough to end any man's career. You know, I want to say one thing about Alex Cologne. You may not like the guy. You may not like his tactics. He may have stole the championship. But just take a look at the guy. I mean, he is a franchise player. He's a guy that you can build a company around. He's not even going to take the belt off to wrestle Ganger. Ganger is no joke. This guy is a monster. And Cologne refuses to take the title off to even wrestle the match. And now Ganger, it looks like Ganger's gonna do it for him. 
A Gengar uh, stripping him of his manhood and his title right before all of Rockstar Nation. Oh, and JT Davidson takes the championship back from Gengar, but Gengar still gets a shot on Cologne. That's what any good manager should do. He's looking out for his guy. Gengar with the hip toss takes down Cologne. Cologne to his feet. Gengar with the scoop and a slam. He goes for a cover. But that's, Cologne kicks out at one. That's too early. Cologne's too savvy a veteran. He's not going to go down that quick. Get out of the ring. Get yourself some air. Regroup with your manager. That's how all the greats do it. Yeah, it looks like uh, his manager, JT Davidson, has some advice for the best of the best right here. Right in his ear. He's, that's where he's got to be. That's the guy who's that's the guy who's giving him his meals. That's the meal ticket. you got to be in his ear. you got to make sure that he's comfortable and he's ready to wrestle. Cologne now back into the ring. Taking his wrist tape off, though. Oh, and Ganger offers a hand. Uh, Cologne's too, sm too smart to fall for this. He's too savvy. If he shakes his hand, that's going to be a big mistake. I, I see Cologne uh, ending up in a place where he's not going to want to be. Oh, wait, Ganger ducks the punch attempt. Oh, and Saito suplex takes down Cologne. Ganger again with a cover attempt. And again, Cologne kicks out. And again, Cologne makes a smart move. He gets out under the bottom rope. He's giving himself some breathing room. You know, he's the smaller guy in the match. Smaller guy in the match wants to make space. He wants to get room. He wants to put distance between himself and his opponent. And there's the attack by the manager. And that's why JT Davidson makes the big bucks. Oh, and now JT Davidson and Cologne both giving the boots to Ganger. And of course, in an American Lucha Corps championship match, anything goes outside the ring. You hate to play the advocate for actions by a manager like that, but you know it's smart. You know it's a smart competitor that uses the manager to their advantage. And now Cologne dumping Ganger over the guardrail into the Rockstar Nation. This is what you get when you come down to the Rockstar Pro Arena. The action is in your face. It's nonstop. They're going to bring the fight to you. You may not end up in the ring, but they're going to end up in your seats. Oh, now everybody on this side of the ring getting a front row seat at this point in time is, wait a minute, Cologne now. Draping the chair over the leg of Ganger. Oh, and there's a shot. Yeah. Oh, Cologne off the rail. Oh my gosh. That could do some severe damage to Ganger. Ganger's in a bad way right now. He's got to do whatever he can to get back in the ring. A, less, a lesser man would have quit by now. A referee at the count of 17, Ganger. Trying to get back in the ring. He's got two more seconds. 19, and just, he just beats the count, just beats the count. That close to a victory was Alex Cologne, but Cologne stays right on top of him. Cologne with some big elbows right to the back. Cologne is right on top of his opponent. That's how you know this guy is a true ring general. He's not giving his opponent any room to breathe. He did what he needed to do. He got his space, got his win back, and now he's putting the boots to him. Well, we're seeing a whole new attitude out of Alex Cologne that we've grown accustomed to seeing here for many months in Rockstar Pro. I mean, this guy was a fan favorite for a long time here. That's the evolution of a pro wrestler. You got to find out what works for you, and when it's not working, you have to shake things up, and that's what Cologne's done. Oh, here's a lackadaisical cover. It's going to take more than that to put away the pit bull ganger. That's a very arrogant cover. That's a big mistake on Cologne's part in my eyes. A referee getting in there, forcing Cologne to let go of the neck of Ganger. And now Alex Cologne has his towel and he drops a boot right on top of the back of the head. That's just insult to injury right there. Cologne riding his opponent, trying to just embarrass him and humiliate him. Probably not a great move with someone like Ganger who's so big and so aggressive. But Cologne knows what he's doing. This is not his first rodeo. He's been here a lot of times. Now Ganger trying to fight back here on his knees. There's a right hand to Cologne. Ganger not feeling the effects of those forearm shots from Cologne. And now there's a right hand. Ganger fighting back. He's worked himself back to his feet. And now he's remembering all those shots he took. He's remembering having that towel draped over his head. He's pretty pissed off, and he's going right for Cologne. Ganger now going after him. Oh, he's going to lift that shirt up. Could be chop time. He's going to bring that big frying pan-like hand right down across the chest. Oh, that hurt up here. Yeah, you could hear that all the way on the other side of the Rockstar Pro Arena, right up here at the commentation station. Big whip into the other side. Ganger's building some momentum here. He's trying to get Rockstar Nation behind him. He's charging at Cologne. There goes the train. It's still on the tracks, heading right for Cologne. And Cologne right now is rocked in the corner. Yeah, he's in a bad way. He's not being given a chance to climb out under the ropes this time. Ganger now 
Looks to throw from pillar to post once again. Hard whip into the corner, and Cologne is worse for the wear this time around. Gets oh, the boot up. That's the, that's the savviness. That's that veteran presence that Cologne brings to the ring. Big kick to the jaw. And here comes Cologne now. Big super kick and an oh, ace crusher. The ace crusher. That's going to seal the deal here. It's got to be over. He hooks the leg. Two. Kick out by Ganger. I don't believe it. He just got out in time. And now Cologne. Cologne taking the shirt off. He must be getting serious now. Oh, Cologne's calling for it here. Off the ropes he goes. Up and over into the sunset flip, but Ganger catches him. Ganger has him up. Oh, and he power bombs him down. There's a cover. Two count only, Cologne kicks out. He's not done yet. I'm telling you, this guy is a ring general. He's savvy, he's got the moves. He's got the attitude. He's pissed off and he's tired of being the fan favorite. He wants everyone to hate him. They're giving him exactly what he wants. Ganger is taking it to him right now. Oh, and Ganger turned Cologne inside out with that back elbow and he's not done yet. Ganger smells blood in the water right here. Oh! Big backbreaker onto the knee. Oh, and there's a lateral press too. And again, Cologne kicks out. Two only, Cologne's still got some fight left in him. You're not gonna beat a guy like Cologne. You're not gonna beat him with elementary wrestling. You gotta go somewhere. You gotta go deep in your reservoir of tricks. You, got, you gotta have that big bag of tricks that, that's gonna get you to that next level. Cologne is not a guy that gets you beat with fundamental wrestling. Ganger in the corner, face first into the second turnbuckle. Yeah, Cologne just baited him in right there. Delivered a drop toe hole, taking Ganger down. And now he's set up for it. There it is. Oh. Davidson got a few shots in there on the outside too. These Lucha Core rules so far are not working out so well for Ganger. He needs somebody to come out here and get his back apparently. Oh, and Cologne, he could be taken off here. Goes for a dive, but Ganger saw it coming. Well, they both saw it coming. Ganger saw him coming and Cologne on the brakes and a big slam by Ganger. Wow, he took him in the hard way. There's a cover attempt. Oh, but JT Davidson. Davidson with the distraction yet again, and this is where Ganger needs to just focus on his opponent, but Davidson's causing that big distraction. Yeah, I agree with you right there. Ganger, he could have put him away right there, but instead he's going after Davidson. He's got his tie. The referee trying to get between him, and there's the oh! low blow by Cologne. Oh, and there's the cover. There's the count, two, three. And oh, come on. And he gets the win. I Your said it winner. once, I'll say it again. You don't have to like Cologne. He doesn't care if you like him. You have to respect that he gets it done. Davidson with the introduction there again to end the match. Well, real Lucha Core champion. Well, Cologne, I guess, defends his Lucha Core championship, even though it shouldn't be his to begin with. You know, I think Nate Wings is going to have something to say about that. But you know, regardless of whether or not the title quote was on the line or not. Cologne gets the win, and like I said, this guy is a franchise player. You don't have to like him, but you have to respect him. Well, Cologne continues his role here in Rockstar Pro, and we're just getting started here on Ant. Zack Spades, sick and twisted, you're watching Ant. in recent weeks, and that is Jeremiah. Best nickname in wrestling, the Ginger Juggernaut. Oh, I love it. Complete agreement on my behalf. <laughs> and I still can't get over, oh, wait a minute. Oh, what a challenge he has tonight. You can hear the music. I don't feel good for the Ginger Juggernaut at this point, but anything can happen in pro wrestling. We'll just have to wait and see. And his opponent, fighting out of Cincinnati, Ohio. He weighed in at 300 pounds. He is Black Jaws, Jerome Miller. Oh, 
you talk about impressive individuals. You know what? It should be that what you call a title match. I deserve a title here in Rockstar Pro Wrestling. I think everybody here knows if I get a damn title, I'll have it forever. And you know that's a fact. So please allow me to continue to do what I do, and that's what people's ass every single night. Well, that's got to evoke a little bit of fear in the heart of Jeremiah. But I'll tell you what, they, they, they're talking about Jerome Phillips coming in at 300 pounds. I want to know which one of his legs they're talking about. Whoa, there's a big drop. Oh. He's getting started off. Oh, and Jeremiah's not going to give Jerome Phillips a chance out of the gates here, and you can't blame him. Hey, that's what you got to do when you're taking on a guy like Black Jaws. They don't call him Black Jaws for nothing. Jeremiah draws the line. He's calling in for Jerome Phillips to come in and get some. Well, Jeremiah, he's been up here in commentary many a times here in Rockstar Pro, and we've heard how much he respects Black Jaws Jerome Phillips, and we're seeing some of that respect here. He knows what he has to do to defeat an individual of this status. There we go, here's the belt, and they are officially off. Jerome Phillips not giving Jeremiah any room. Black Jaws is on the attack. Well, Black Jaws Jerome Phillips coming off the biggest win of his career at our last eye pay per view when he defeated Tommy Dreamer in a singles match. I don't care who you are, a win over a legend like Tommy Dreamer, that puts your resume on the map. Well, now Phillips going after Jeremiah, over low bridge. Rope. And now Jeremiah, he's not done yet. Suicide dive takes out Black Jaws. That's two, two suicide dives in the first two minutes. Jeremiah has come to fight. Well, Jeremiah knows Black Jaws has the serious size advantage, so Jeremiah utilizing that speed in the early going. You got to be quick. When you're taking on a guy like Black Jaws, you got to use every advantage you have. Jeremiah certainly has the speed advantage. Trying to get Rockstar Nation behind him. Oh, Rockstar Nation fired up here tonight. Into the corner goes Jeremiah. There's a knee right on the jaw of Black Jaws. Big knee lift, she's not giving it in. She's gonna make Jaws earn this win. Oh, Black Jaws now down in the corner. It could be cannonball time. Jeremiah, here he comes. Oh! Cannonball in the corner. Black Jaws looks worse for the wear here. He's on his back. This is not where he wants to be. A big man like this needs to be at a vertical base. Horizontal does him no good. Well, Jeremiah now going for a high risk move off the top ropes. Here he comes. Oh, big neck breaker. Wow. wow. Big elbow right to the jaw. Man, I wasn't expecting that move there. But Black Jaws is right to his feet. It didn't have any effect. I'll tell you what, Black Jaws is just a scary individual. Well, if I were Jeremiah, I'd be headed for the exit right now. Jeremiah, though, Man, boot. To the face. And now Jeremiah. Scaling the ropes again. He's going back up. What's he got in store? Oh, Black Jaws catches a huge elbow to the jaw. Wow. That Jaws breaker right there just caught him. And now he's got him up. It could be. There it is, the Dominator. The Dominator by Black Jaws. There's the cover. Two, three, that's all. Boy, Jeremiah didn't have a chance Your after that one. Pinball, Black Jaws. Let's give credit where it's due. Jeremiah came to fight tonight. Two suicide dives before the bell hardly even rang. Black Jaws got all he wanted from Jeremiah tonight. And Jeremiah came out of the gate swinging, but Black Jaws Jerome Phillips was there to pick up the impressive victory once again.
interesting matchup this is. Sheer power versus sheer speed in this one. Well, let's talk about Detroit muscle. You're talking about Chimera. This guy is a monster. Wait, I tell you, Wings looks confident, and you know, he knows exactly what I was talking about earlier. The title is a trophy. He is the LuchaCore champion. He knows he's the LuchaCore champion, and that's the most important thing. The belt looks good, but it's not what makes the champion. I'm sure the teenage model sensation would love to have that belt around his waist, but even more so, he wants to be known as the champion, more than physically carrying the belt. Exactly right. He's not going to stop defending the title that he has, even if he doesn't have a trophy to wear to the ring. All right, here. This is going to be quite the challenge for Nate Wings. I mean, Benjamin Chimera with a huge size advantage just easily tosses Nate Wings to the outside. Well, that's what we're talking about, that Motor City muscle. That guy is a beast. And now the fight is outside the ring here. Anything goes outside the ring. Huge forearm and a chop by Benjamin Chimera. And again with the thud right to the chest of Wings. And now Chimera's got a steel chair. Oh. And Wings just narrowly avoided that one. That's a smart move by Wings. Big oh. kick to the face. Wow, just drove that chair right into the face of Chimera. That's what you have to do when you're a smaller man. You have to find innovative ways to get into the match, to get in your opponent's head, and to get an advantage. Hi, I'm Alan Thrush, and I'm here at the Thrush & Son Home Improvement Center with my son, Corey, and my great niece, Ava. Since 1960, we've understood who the boss is, and that's you, our customers. I'm the boss. No, Ava, when we install a new roof, siding, windows, gutter, or whatever home improvements our customers need, they are the boss. Come visit us on the web at thrushandson.com, and for a free in-home consultation, give us a call today at 833-5136, where we know who the boss is. Me. Wings now fighting out of it. On the shoulder, still trying to fight back. Big drop kick to the back. Oh, he's got him set up here. Wings now to the ring apron. There's a bicycle kick right across the side of the face. And Wings may be smaller, but that's all he needs. There it is, a slam. There's a cover. And a big splash by Wings, even for a man that small. It's a still a huge splash. The elevation, the speed, you cannot teach that. Chimera catches him. Catches the spine buster. And he has him down, flush in the center of the ring. Chimero goes for a cover, and Wings again kicks out. Wings has the heart of a champion, and that's exactly what we're talking about. The title's nowhere to be seen out here. The championship belt is not at ringside, but he's got the heart of a champion. He's still fighting. Chimera used Wings' momentum against him after that springboard. Chimera caught him for a spine buster, and now Chimera Looks like he wants to inflict more damage. Going back to his friend, the chair. Those chairs, we know exactly what they're capable of. Wings up on the shoulders. Oh, and Wings, that looks like he reversed the Death Valley driver. Kick to the stomach. Oh, and now here comes Ben. Oh, he goes oh. right into the chair. Face first into the steel. Steel wins that battle every time. Wings now to the top. It could be time. He could be going for it here. 450 splash, there's the cover, and that's three. Wow, it doesn't matter how many times you see it, it's still impressive. The pinfall, and still the American Lucha Core champion, the teenage model sensation, Nate Wings. In a real battle of David versus Goliath, it is David once again that picks up the victory here tonight. Representing the Ohio is for Killers, I'm Jake Christ, and you're watching Rockstar Pro Wrestling on Ant. You're all introducing personal fighting out of Chicago, Ohio. Someone to hear your cry. Someone to
entrance music and all here on Amped. Bruce Gray is one of these guys. He's up and coming. He's definitely someone to keep an eye on. We always talk about franchise players in wrestling. We may have one here in the making. Oh, here we go, Jared. Are you ready to get beefy? Let's get beefy. Where's the beef? They always ask the question. We've got it here at Rockstar Pro Wrestling. Gray with the attack from behind, the bell's off, and man, Beef Hammer's just not even gonna get a chance to get out of the gate. Oh, and Bruce Gray, I mean, this is what we've seen out of Bruce Gray here of late. I mean, this guy's had a complete change in attitude. I Us mean, using his own shirt as a weapon, that's insult to injury if I've ever seen it. Oh, we, we saw last week here on Amped, Bruce Gray, he threw John Murray, his former best friend, threw a table outside the ring. That was a devastating move. That was a devastating maneuver. Unbelievable tenacity and aggression from Gray. And now he's showing some of that aggression right here on Duke Beefhammer. Beefhammer just never got a chance. He, he could never get out of the block. You know, Gray was on him from before the bell sounded. Not gonna beat a guy like Bruce Gray with just a few punches. Beefhammer now. Oh, he could be going for that fisherman suplex, but Gray puts the brakes on. Gray winds him up. DDT in the middle of the ring. Oh, and that could be it right there. He goes for a cover, and that is all. Your winner via pinfall, Bombastic Bruce Gray. There are no moral victories in professional wrestling, but you're gonna give Beef Hammer one right there. You know, Bruce Gray is not a, is not one of these guys that just walked in from out of the street. He's a seasoned veteran. He's a real pro. Beef Hammer was in there with one of the best that Rockstar has to offer, and he made a pretty good showing himself. But now Gray is going to add the insult to injury. Yeah, Gray not even done yet. Gray again with the DDT. And Bruce Gray putting an exclamation point on this one. Beef Hammer just getting hammered. And here comes Gray showing off for the camera. Oh, and he's going for it again. Come on now. Oh, enough is enough, he's Bruce. He's had enough here, Gray. Let's go. Let's move it on. Oh, and here comes John Murray. Murray's still pissed from last week. Oh, you know he's, he's got Gray. He's got him up. There it is. Baldo Bomb. Murray came out here to send a statement to his former partner. And Murray's not done. He's putting the boots to bombastic Bruce Gray. Oh, and you know John Murray has been waiting all week to get his hands on Bruce Gray after what happened last Wednesday. Well, that footage has been all over the internet. You can't watch something like that. You can't see it over and over again oh. and not want to get a little revenge. He's going under the ring. There's nothing but hardware under there. Wait a minute. Don't tell me. Oh, he's got a table. It looks like he might try to do to Bruce Gray what Gray did to him. He's got bad intentions with that table. He's going to exact a little bit of revenge. Is he going to go in the ring with it? Oh, that's exactly what he's doing. Sending a statement center of the ring right in front of the camera. He, wasn't, he does not want anyone in Rockstar Nation to miss this. This is the most serious I've ever seen John Murray in his entire life, his entire career. When you've got a score to settle, you have to throw all the funny business out the window. Oh, but Gray coming back, and Gray there's the DDT. DDT, unbelievable. Well, while John Murray is getting that table, it gave Bruce Gray a moment to recover there, and that was all he needed. And now Gray's got the advantage. He sees the table is already at the table for him. Oh, don't tell me that Bruce Gray is going to utilize this table once again. Two weeks in a row, Murray could be in serious trouble with the table. And now Murray to his feet. Murray, there's the cutter. He's got him with the cutter. Gray's down. He's in serious trouble. This is Murray's opportunity to capitalize and finally exact some revenge for the attack last week. Murray to his feet. Murray is feeding off the energy of the crowd. Oh, don't tell me. He's setting up for it here, Jared. Oh, but Bruce Gray, Bruce Gray rolls out of the ring. Rolls out of the ring, gets out of harm's way, and it's just another example. That is veteran savvy, staying out of the way, getting away from your opponent. He knows Murray has a score to settle. He's going to do whatever he has to do to get his revenge on Gray, but it's not going to happen tonight. Gray's got the microphone. He wants to address him. 
I'll show you we come on over here, big boy. Cameraman Zoom. Brucey's got something important to say. Johnny, I told you to stay out of my way. And now you're interrupting me and you really want to bring these tables in. Well, I tell you what, boys and girls. I'll give you a tables match. Do you want a tables match? Do you want a tables match? I'd like to see a tables match. I'll go Do for a tables, a match. tables match. How about right now? John Murray, I will kill you. I will put you through a table. I will take your livelihood. I will take whatever future you have. But first, I want you to feel right at home, Johnny. Not only is it going to be a tables match, oh no. Uh, it's going to be a buffet tables match. It's going to be a diabetes death match. And you're going down. Uh, did we just hear a challenge for a diabetes what death match? My name. Uh, I've never heard of that one before, a diabetes death match. Uh, did we get Wilford Brimley as a special guest referee? I I'd like to see that. Papano Joe has in store as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the baddest man alive. Wow, that's all I'm going to say. This match is unbelievably... Oh, this is going to be incredible. This is going to be incredible right here. A rock star nation. They got on their feet just for the introduction of Aaron Williams. This guy has earned the respect from the rock star nation. He's huge. The longest reigning champion in rock star pro history. And tonight, Pompano Joe goes one on one with that man. I tell you what, Pompano Joe's, he's one of the most competitive men I've ever been in the ring with. I mean, we, we might not necessarily get along, but I'm going to tell you what, Pompano Joe is one heck of a competitor, and he's going toe to toe with the best, the baddest man alive, Aaron Williams. And that's the thing if you're Aaron Williams. I mean, he might not be the Rockstar Pro Champion anymore, but this man still has a target on his back. Everybody knows if they can defeat the likes of this man, it will take them up into the upper stratosphere here in Rockstar Pro. Well, you know, you know, with the association that the office has with DJ Hyde, you know that Aaron Williams isn't going to even come close to the Rockstar Pro Championship anytime soon. And personally, I think it's a shame because Aaron Williams should still be representing us as the Rockstar Pro Champion. All right now, Pompano Joe taking it to the mat on Aaron Williams. I mean, Aaron Williams known as one of the better technical wrestlers here in Rockstar Pro, but Pompano Joe himself, not too bad. He's a veteran of the sport as well. Definitely, and you know, people forget about that, you know? You know, with, like Pompano Joe hasn't been in Rockstar very long. You know, guys like me that haven't been in Rockstar very long, you gotta understand just because doesn't mean that we don't know what we're doing in the ring. Right now, both men at a stalemate here after the early going. Oh, and uh, Pompano Joe claims Aaron Williams pulled his tights. I didn't see any of the sort. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see anything. I just think it's mind games. You know, that's what Pompano Joe does. He just kind of likes to try to mess with you and keep the match at his pace. He's got to go after Pompano Joe. He's got to make sure Pompano Joe 
works at Aaron Williams' pace in order to win this match. I mean, this isn't a walkover match, Turner. Aaron Williams now with a headlock on Pompano Joe. Joe trying to find an escape here. As a fan of wrestling and getting to sit up here and call these matches with you, I have honestly haven't been excited to, to, to see a lot of the matches, but I'm really excited to see this match right here. Hip toss by Joe, but Double Boots takes him down. Arm drag by Williams. But Joe quickly with head scissors there. And oh, wait, leg trip. Action too fast to call here. Wow, both men at a stalemate. I thought I was watching a martial arts movie there for a moment. Wow, and Pompano Joe does the right thing, the veteran thing, and takes a time out. I think Aaron Williams has been watching some Bruce Lee movies. What do you think? I'm, I, you know, Aaron Williams watches a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? I mean, absolutely. Tony Jaa, Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee Roy. Absolutely. I met, I met him once, you know? Did you really? No, I'm lying. My brother actually did. and. You know, I would have never known if you would have just said yes. It would have been, been pretty cool. I don't, I don't want to lie to the Rockstar Nation. Oh, Pompano Joe there with an open hand slap on Aaron Williams. Some disrespect there. I've seen Pompano Joe do a lot worse to people. And now, oh, Aaron Williams with a boot right into the midsection. That's too sweet. Williams now going right after Pompano Joe. Chop right across the chest. It's a random, random Jake Chris Wolfpack on commentary. Give a shout out, yeah. You don't turn your back on the Wolfpack. That's all I know. You never do that. You know, oh, big elbow center popping on Joe down to the mat. I'm always Wolfpacking, all the time. Williams now takes Joe up to his feet. Boom. Big right hand on the jaw. Williams now. Looks like he's going to trap the legs into the ropes on Pompano Joe. What's he going for here? Oh. Williams going uh -oh. for something. Here he comes. Oh, just a straight slap. <laughs> well, turnabout is fair play if you ask me. Yeah. And what do you do when you're popping a Joe right there? You just disrespected Aaron Williams. Williams now. Oh, man. Educated feet striking Ooh. away on Pompano Joe. Williams now hooks a leg, and Joe kicks out. Break of the hold by Aaron Williams. Williams now. Oh, ridge hand strike right to the back of the head of Pompano. Whew. Williams now. Oh, this could be it right here. Big uppercut. Street Fighter style right there. And popping our Joe's. See Aaron Williams is going up for the old frog splash. Joe is set up for it here. Williams to the top. Oh, but Joe moves out of the way. Oh, he tried to block the impact of that, but. Big clothesline by Pompano. Joe now calling for a finish here. He's going for something. Back suplex takes him down, but Williams back to his feet. Big kick. That could be the knockout blow right there. Two, three, that's all. Excellent match right there. Hard fought match up here on Amped, but it's the baddest man alive, Aaron Williams, that picks up the one, two, three. Oh, the lights are out here as we've become accustomed to seeing with Dustin Rays. That must mean he is in the building. And there he is, right in the face of JP. First fighting out of JP scared right now? Ohio. Yeah. He weighed in at 215 pounds. He is the catalyst, Dustin Rays. Dustin Ray staring a hole right through JP. This guy is freaking nuts. Yeah, this guy 
This guy's a bit scary. I mean, just seeing him walk around the building before the show just sends a chill through my spine. Oh, and speaking oh. of scary individuals. Up we have in store right here. Sick and Twisted versus Dustin Rays. And look at these guys, they can't wait to get a hold of each other. They're both, they're both nuts. Two crazy individuals. Hey, I got a good idea. Let's put them in a ring and see what happens. Oh, they both lock up right there. Neither man getting an advantage. They do it once again. This Ooh. time, Rays backs him up and gives him a chop. Rays now winds it up with the right hand. Face first, Spades goes into that top turnbuckle. Oh man, sick and twisted. He and look, wants you some see more. what he did right there? He just walked out and took it. Oh man, both of these individuals, this one could go all night. They could hit each other all night. He's gonna say, hey, how good can you do? Let's, let's yeah. go for an hour. Each man wants to see who can hit hardest here. Rays ducks that attempt. Spades goes behind. Rays puts the brakes on. There's an elbow shot on Spades. Spades ducks that one. Belly to belly, overhead suplex. Spades charges at Rays. Rays takes him up and over oh. to the outside. Wow, that's a hard fall right there. Rays now, suicide dive, takes out Zach Spades. Starting off hot and heavy in this one, Jeremiah. Uh, definitely. That's how we do it up here at Rockstar Pro. Got Dustin Ray's just taunting this crowd. I mean, he's not even focusing on Zach Spades. I don't even think he really cares that much. Ooh, Ray's with the, with the big chop right on the chest of Spades there. Spades, though, comes right back. There's one of his own. Spades charges at him. Rays takes him right onto the guardrail. Ooh! Referee now at the count of nine. Oh, wow. That was Ooh. close right there. I don't think she was going to call it anyway. Let him fight. I think she'd be afraid to call it with these two. I wouldn't blame her. Rays now charges at Spades. Big boot right across the face. Last week, sick and twisted Zach Spades had an incredibly hard fought matchup with Dave Christ. He's going to have to do it once again here tonight with Dustin Rays. Zach's definitely a competitor, you know. He's had Rockstar Pro Championship title shots in the future. I mean, everyone knows Zach Spades' history. Zach Spades has to compete to get a shot for the Rockstar Pro Championship. That's what it's all about here. Everybody in that locker room with their eyes set on the green and gold. The only problem is the belt's in New Jersey. Exactly. And now double clothesline, both men thinking the same thing and they are both down. Referee applying a count to both men. Which man will get to his feet first? They've just been beating the crap out of each other, you know, Turner. Yeah, the second the bell rang, they've been going right after it. There's no feeling out process in this one. Ooh, big forearm by Rays. Ah. Spades with one of his own. Oh man, and again. These two just exchanging strikes. Rays gets the upper hand here. He goes off the ropes, but Spades hits him with a clothesline. Man, I don't think Rays saw that one coming. Just going after Dustin Rays right now. Big headbutt by Sick and Twisted, and Rays goes all the way to the outside. It might be Spade's turn to fly here. Here he comes, but Rays catches him. 
Raise now back into the ring. Dustin Ray's going right after Zach Spades. He throws Spades across the ring, up and over. Zach goes, lands on his feet. He has Ray's German suplex, and he holds on. We've seen Zach Spades do this before, Turner. Yes, we have, and he could be going for the hat trick here. That's two. Can he complete the trio? Ray's, though, tried to block it, but he couldn't. That's three of them. Spades now with the cover. And Ray's kicks out. Wow, both men have just been absolutely dominating one another. Zach Spades just on top right now. Spades charges at him. Ray's throws him in the corner, though. Now Ray's back on top. Oh my gosh, what a throw in the corner that was. That spiked him right on top of his head. Now Dustin Ray's in control now, but for how long with the way this one's been going? Oh, wait a minute, Ray's could be going for that pile driver here. Has the arms hooked, he's going for it. Spades puts the brakes on. Oh, Spades narrowly avoided that one. That would have been the end of the match for sure. Spades with the go behind. Oh, that was a, that looked like a low blow right there. The ref didn't see it though. And there it is. He's got him up. There's the pile driver. Wow. Spiked him on his head and good night, Zach Spades. Your winner via pinfall, the catalyst, Dustin. Well, that's an impressive victory for sure for Dustin Rays as he defeated one of the best here in Rockstar Pro and Zach Spades. And Dustin Rays now calling for the microphone from JP. Oh, Aaron. I'm ready to play. This guy's Aaron. obsessed. Let's give these people what they want. And here comes Aaron Williams, asking you shall receive. But oh, wait, Rays goes to the outside. Who wants to see Aaron and I go right now? I'd like to see that. Dustin Rays doesn't care about the Rockstar Nation. It doesn't sound like you want it bad enough. I don't know what crowd he's listening to. Oh, I love it. You see that face? I love that face. That's the face of anger. That's the face that kicks your ass. Oh, yeah. Last paper. Frick. What? How's that head of yours, Aaron? Tell me, how is it? How does it feel? How did your body feel afterwards when I destroyed every fiber of you? Don't act like you give a damn about him. I know the truth, he doesn't. We love Aaron! We love Aaron! We love Aaron! Back to what I was saying. This time, this time, we won't have time limits. This time, it'll be until only one man is standing do you want that right now? Do you want it right now? Do you want a last man standing match right now? Duh. I want to see it. Damn right, I'm not going to give it to you. No, figures. I will make this promise, Aaron. 
next week, and there will only be one man standing and one man laying in a pile of blood. And I won't be bleeding, my friend. I look forward to it. The challenge has been issued. A last man standing match next week on Amped. <coughs> Rockstar Nation, JP, backstage, the baddest man alive, Aaron Williams. Now, Aaron, you and Dustin Rays, this is a war that's taken out electrical sockets, almost spilled through the fans, broken merchandise tables, and now, next week on Amped, you two are going to fight the last man standing match. You're absolutely right, JP. We're going to fight in a last man standing match. We're going to hurt each other. We're going to probably make each other bleed. We're probably going to break each other's bones. But the one main thing that's going to happen is one of us will not stand up when the night is over. Everybody knows what I'm all about. Everybody knows that I kick legs, I kick heads, I break bones. I hurt people. That's what I do. That's why I am the baddest man alive. Dustin, you've only gotten a taste. You see, you've only gotten a little inkling of what I am capable of. And come next week, man, you better bring a tank. You better bring an army. You better bring everything that you possibly can. Because I bring it every single day and I am looking forward to breaking you. Last man standing, Rockstar Pro Arena gets transformed into Planet Williams next week. Mm. toe to toe here, staring a hole through Dave Chris. Dave Chris doing the same. Yeah, I'm a little confused on this. Uh, a little bit better than Kyle Maverick, right? Yeah, well, last week, wait a minute. Taylor going right after Dave and Taylor. Oh man, look at these two go at it. Every single time these two are in the ring. My God, the intensity goes up a page. Taylor now on top. Well, this matchup isn't scheduled as you heard from us. Matt oh. Taylor going after Dave Chris. Dave Chris now turning the tide. This is personal right here. Well, Taylor said Dave Chris had to work from the bottom up to ever get another American Lucha Corps Championship match. Well, Taylor no longer has that American Lucha Corps Championship due to Dave Chris. Yeah, he was in that coffin right underneath us. It was. Oh, and now, my gosh, we need people out here to break this up. Now let him go. Oh, what an open hand slap by Dave Christ. The 
exchanging strikes again, and it's Taylor that goes to the outside. Let him go. Let him settle this once and for all. We'll, we'll sit out here and call this fight all night. Well, you know, Taylor, all that animosity after Dave Chris cussed him that American Luchacore Championship. And Dave throws him back first into the guardrail. Oh, what a kick there. Taylor came out here alone. Definitely, he left Jared Harris and Sean Draven of the fight in the back. Yeah, Matt Taylor apparently wanting to go after Dave Christ one on one here. Of course, last week we saw Matt Taylor hit Draven and he hit Harris with the steel chair, uh, apparently blaming them for his American Luchacore Championship loss. Yeah, well, you know, if they want to. They want to stay in the ranks of the fight. They got to show loyalty to your leader, I guess is the point. Taylor's trying to get across, but. Yeah, I guess you can say right now it's leadership by example, maybe going after. Uh oh, wait a minute here. Oh, the fight. They are united. You've seen this coming a mile away, Turner. Oh, Come on. And the fight now taking it to OI4K here. Jake Chris, though, turning the tides on Jared Harris. I don't even know who the other guy in the ring is. And look at this now, Kyle Maverick. Wait a minute, Kyle Maverick, he's wearing a, a Dark Star shirt. Who is the other guy in the ring, Turner? I, I don't know. All I know is that that guy was a fan, and he joined the fight. <laughs> what is going on here? And look at this, Kyle Maverick and Michael going after Mathis. Maverick and Michael helping the fight here. There's a DDT onto the steel chair. My God. And Draven just destroying Ron Mathis. And you know, Mathis' arm is injured from his match with Mason Price. Yeah, it is. And Draven obviously saw that backstage working away, wrenching that left arm. Oh, and, and now Taylor has the microphone. Oh, this is just sick. Taylor doesn't lie. In a call from power is in numbers. I'm Dave Christ, October 3rd, we end this. Join the fight! Well, Taylor says on October the 3rd, this ends between Dave Christ and Matt Taylor. But look at this, strength and numbers for the fight. It appears as if the fight has just multiplied. Ladies and gentlemen, this is JP at the Rockstar Pro Arena. I'm coming into the OI4K locker room. Now, Dave, that was the most brutal, insane fight between you and Matt Taylor, especially after Taylor blasted his own guys with a chair just last week. What the hell is going on here? Well, as a matter of fact, I see Gigi coming up right now. Gigi, if you would, please come here. It seems as if the fight is growing in numbers. Every week. Gigi, I never ask you for anything. What you need? Next week, four on four. Okay. The fight versus the killers. I think I know where you're going with this. We'll make it happen. I mean, I don't care if it's our boy, Wicked. <laughs> I don't care if it's our boy, Ken Dub. Be right. I don't even care if it's V-Rad. We're gonna get our fourth. Matt Taylor, the fight. Bring anyone you want. Hell, bring all five of you. All we need is four. Because we are the Ohio is. Four killers. <laughs>